Hello everyone, my name is Chon Javapramunsky, and I'm an Applications Engineer for Go Engineer. And today I want to show you how you can create fading geometry in SOLIDWORKS Visualize Professional. When working with assemblies, it can be useful to show the internal components to allow users to see all of your internal mechanisms. With SOLIDWORKS Visualize Professional, we can create animations that not only show how our designs move, but can also help in creating exploded views. As we are moving components around, we can create a fade effect on our geometry. Let's see how we can do this here in Visualize Professional. Now when we're in Visualize, I like to use preview mode to give me real-time interactions with my designs, as well as increased performance while I'm setting up my renderings. To do this, you need to locate the Render Selection button on the main toolbar and choose Preview. Next, we need to view the animation timeline to create an animation. Remember, to create animations, you need to have SOLIDWORKS Visualize Professional. To do this, we need to go to View and choose Show Timeline. This will bring up your timeline at the bottom of the Visualize window. The first thing I like to do with all animations is turn off the Auto Key function. This allows me to manually set up the key so that I can get smooth transitions as I'm adding in effects. Then, I'll go to the Model tab and select all the components I want to create the fade effect to and add a keyframe to the start of the timeline. You can select multiple components at once and then right click, go to Animation, and Add Keyframe. I'll move the yellow flag to a desired time and then add additional keyframes for each part group. From here, I can choose a specific part group and you'll see Opacity on the General tab. This allows me to control the opacity of the whole part group that I'm choosing. For the patio, I'll keep this at 1 since I'm not having to change its opacity just yet. On the other hand, when I choose the couch, I can change the opacity to 0 and then add a keyframe where the yellow flag is located. If I take the yellow flag and drag it to the beginning of the timeline, we can see that the couch is fading as it approaches the 2 second mark. Now that I get the desired fade effect, I can apply it to the other part groups on the top of my patio. I also want to show a close-up of the handrail assembly I have, so I'm going to expand the patio group and hide some additional parts from my view. I'll add a keyframe for the group I'd like to hide, and then I'll move the yellow flag to the new desired time and change the opacity to zero. With everything else hidden, I'm still looking at my handrail at an awkward distance. So let me add a zoom effect to create a close-up effect on the handrail. To do this, I'll add a keyframe for the camera where I want the zooming effect to start. Then I'll take the yellow flag to the desired end time and start zooming into the handrail until I get the desired look. When I'm satisfied, I'll scrub through the timeline one more time. If you'd like to change any keyframe to specific points, you can click on the specific keyframe, then expand the arrow on the right of the timeline to edit the keyframe properties. Here, you can specify a specific time point. Now that everything is set, I can choose my render options and begin my animation render. Once the render is completed, we can see that we have a nice fading effect of my geometry. This is Chanji Rapowinski, and I hope you enjoyed this video on how to create fading geometry in SOLIDWORKS Visualize Professional. If you'd like to see more tips and tricks, please subscribe and hit the notification bell. And you can also find out more information on our website at goengineer.com.